Hey, Keith Lockhart here, Director of Training for Oxygen Forensics. Here's a short video on version 13 and the new optical character recognition built in. Okay, let's have a look. So I'm just going to go to our options gear here where I can get to my kind of global settings for detective. I'll check our advanced analytics section where we have facial categorization, image categorization, and optical character recognition. So what do we have from an option perspective? Well, we can turn it off or back on. What would be the significance of that, you would say? And if you remember me um, from my previous DFIR career at Access Data, just in case, uh, you know, in FTK, we literally had a tick box in the pre-processing section that if you turned on OCR, it said something close to the effect of, you are about to add 50% processing time to this job, prepare, or something like that. I mean, OCR is a task to be sure. Lucky for us, Detect is a 64-bit environment that will use the hardware you have available. So when we're running an OCR job, it's always fun to check the task manager, make sure things are at 100%. I mean, tapping that thing out because it takes work to get this done. So offer on depending on your needs. Now, think about this. What about this workflow? So you pull a bunch of pictures in that look like documents. Dun, dun, dun. If I scroll down an image categorization, wow, maybe they're identified as documents. So you can actively filter and seek those out and then come back and just OCR those. Check mark them, however you want to segregate them. Do it when you have time and certainly not against everything. Maybe just the things that look like documents right out of the gate. So this is the kind of the gears that need to start turning, especially on a page like this where you have all of these interesting technologies available to you. Other option, languages that come with OCR. Holy smokes, there's a huge list which kind of begs the question, which is also a requirement you need to do this, where do I get the languages? Well, let's go out here. I'll just hit the updates module there, and I'm gonna go out to my customer portal, which you should do too, because when you get out there, on top of the detective download is the OCR language pack. Pull that down and install it, and that is how you get to this list, okay? I, look, I wouldn't set them all at once, I mean, to be sure. And you can set them at each import job based on that import options menu. Uh, but, you know, be selective, be smart about the time you're spending. And then what size uh, picture do you want to go after? Minimum and maximum pixel sizes. Okay, let's see how it works. I'm going to go to the import screen. And in this particular case, I just have a folder full of stuff on the desktop. I've already selected it, OCR data. I'll select that folder. And here, like I was saying, you could go to the analytics section and change your job parameters for this import. I'm good, I'll import, and off it goes. Now, when it does this, I'm just gonna go ahead and look because I'm a fanatic about more power, more power. And you know what, I'm at 37%, oh, I'm at 100%, 50. I'm, you know, this probably isn't a job big enough to have enough of forethought to go, we're gonna tap out for a while. But I'm at 96, 80, 78, and I'm using all the cores available to me right now. This is a good thing. I mean, that's what you want to see is the hardware really putting itself toward that job. So I'll get that out of the way. It'll take just a second. Okay, so now I'm going to open this. And it's sitting here in unassigned extractions. Terrific. I've got six files, four is key evidence, and one in the timeline. So let's first look at the six files. Okay, um, they all happen to be, or the all files section, I think they're all images as well, all six of them, and we can tell just from the thumbnails, they all look like documents of, of text, so true. But let me also go back to the all files, and I happen to have four that are already tagged, shocking, as documents, because that was the conversation we were just having from a workflow perspective. Matter of fact, if I go back and look at the extraction info, I have four items of key evidence. I didn't do anything. I haven't even looked at it yet. However, if I just check right here, there are four things that are tagged already as documents, like we just had that conversation about that workflow. So terrific. I'm gonna jump down here to the OCR new analytic section, and I'll click there. And here's how the OCR analytic pane looks. I'm just gonna give ourselves some more real estate here. Now, you gotta understand, we're using the Tesseract engine. There are several out there. Um, your mileage may vary. You know, it might, in this particular instance, I've got language.jpg and I got nothing down there as indicated by, you know, there's nothing, there's no text to be seen here. However, this one, which is highlighted or lit up in green, if I click this one, I've got all kinds of text down here. 
So watch this. If I click on this line, it tells you right where it's getting those words. And this is quite this is quite the example. A lot of hodgepodge there, but it's gathering stuff from there. Fluency, I can see that word there. Lifestyle is in there. Just is in there. And I don't know, real life English right there. Kind of a, a blurb on that. And the real people. And I also selected the Arabic dictionary as one of the dictionaries I was using to go through this stuff. So, and Chinese. So it's actually thinking it can find something similar to a character like that based on the different fonts here. I love it. Um, don't know what that is. Start at help. But this is just an interesting example. This is almost like a captcha with all the different fonts and different sizes and different colors. But you can see what we're getting out of that as a searchable now item. All right, let me check this one. Uh, newspaper. I mean, this will probably be almost verbatim. And I can scroll down and read nearly the entire document based on almost the word for word extraction of the newspaper clipping. Uh, this one is an Arabic document. Now, I don't speak or read Arabic. However, I'm just going to, from a demonstrative purpose, I'll grab this cell and I'm going to right click and copy it to the clipboard. Let me just jump back to the search functionality and I'm going to paste that in here as a text word or a text string. Matter of fact, I'll get rid of 2015 just so we have that. I'll search through file content and go. Shouldn't take too long. And look at that. There's the source file of that hit and the hit. That is crazy. <laughs> I'm, oh, crazy. Really cool. How about I how would I change that to really cool? I'm not crazy, but really cool. Let me just jump back there and back to our OCR. Um, English, hey, there's an envelope picture, you know, a lot of block lettering, so you kind of see what you're going to get from that. And, oh, Chinese. There we go, Chinese. So let me go over here to uh, a little bigger data set. There are a couple more items of your mileage may vary I want to look at. And Allison's data set, if I just go check her OCR, that's not Allison. If I check Allison's OCR, um, a couple of my favorites, here, like this one right here. I mean, this is certainly a CAPTCHA thing. Crazy fonts, colors, patterns, and it's extracting words out of there. I love it. I don't care about you. Friday, I'm in love. Wednesday, Thursdays. That, that's a really interestingly cool example. Um, oh, right above that one is the British Airways. Well, almost British Airways, close. I mean, clear out there on the airplane in that picture. That's really cool. I don't know where the SU is. Oh, something else out by the airplane. Uh, you know, again, your mileage may vary. CBS News, got news. Uh, user picture, got google.ru from the search bar. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Uh, looks like a some kind of flyer with all kinds of text. And again, if I just give us some more real estate so we can kind of compare. Summer school, learn musical, experience tutors in preparation for an early evening show at the, I mean, word for word. That's great stuff. And that's all searchable. Your options look like this. Um, recognize text on an image and what that boils down to is you can filter and here's an example let's just do both here they're both in there if I sort look these are things that didn't have text let me try to force one through there that's a, a cue let's try that one I'm gonna pick that one and my because my other option is do it do just that one recognize text let me hit it and still nothing fair enough however this is a quick way for you to figure out where you need to go let me just turn off the ones that don't have it only show the ones that did and start going through like that database filtering. So recognize text on nothing analyzed, recognize text on just checked items, database functionality there, right? And uh, OCR settings where we could go back and change these settings to run it again. Okay, there's your quick introduction to OCR in version 13. Download today. It's got a lot of awesome, cool new functionality in it. See you soon in class. Have a great one.